Good evening. Good evening, everybody. The day before yesterday, we came here for rehearsal. It was my first time to have a meeting, to have a rehearsal for a meeting with all the FCs, all the leaders, speakers, to come here for rehearsal. I walked around. I walked the farthest in the hall, at the back of the hall. I was sitting there. Because I wanted to feel how it feels sitting at the back of the hall. You might be very far from here. But I want you to feel we are very close. Our hearts are connected very closely. 40 years. Tonight we had this celebration. Very emotional moment. But the most important thing, I want to enjoy it at the most. First of all, many thanks to Amway Thai, Thailand, and to the general manager of Thai for their support to this event. And the regional president of Asia Pacific. Of course, and of course, Mr. Doug DeVos, our president, for your presence and for your support. Thank you so much. This meeting, this event, is not easy, not simple. Thinking about Aranong, at the age of 73, you cannot, of, of course, you cannot tell, you cannot feel. You look like 37 years old. You have given for this meeting, for this event, more than half year effort with all your team from Thailand, Malaysia, Taiwan, China, really, many, many thanks to all of you for your hard working. You are all volunteers for this event. You are not asking for anything. You didn't ask for anything. And we didn't give you anything in return. Any benefit. You just love it. You just do it for all of us, for every one of us tonight, sitting here, everyone sitting here, every cradle family members sitting here, for all of us. Thank you. I believe all you want in return is hoping every and each one of the 40,000 people here to return home with everything that you learned that you would never, ever forget from these two days. 
This event is for all of you. Just like Doug Devo said, the, you are our most important partners. So let's relax tonight and enjoy tonight. Enjoy the moment. Four decades. It's a celebration evening. It's like an anniversary, a birthday. I want to sing for all of you for Cradle. You can sing with me. Happy birthday, son. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Cradle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Cradle. Happy birthday to Cradle. Hey. I remember the birthdays for my young daughters. I didn't have the habit to celebrate their birthdays. The young generations, they made three wishes for their birthday. I don't know if in Thailand people have the same habit. Do you make three wishes on your birthday? So tonight, I want to also make three wishes. But according to the rules, I have to hide one in my heart. And I will announce two of them. First of all, I wish every one of us, 40,000 members here, to, have, to be healthy and to achieve your dreams. And second wish, I hope 10 years later, today is 2018, so 10 years later, 2028, we will celebrate our 50th anniversary. My wish is everybody here will be here again. To have another party, I wish. I can do it in the nestle, the bird nestle in Beijing, in China, to do our 50th celebration. I want to challenge you. 10 years later, I want to challenge you. When we had the celebration in the bird nestle in Beijing, in China, for the 50s, and you will come as diamond. You must come as a diamond. Imagine, in a 100,000 arena, stadium, all of us will celebrate for you and scream for you. Can you make it? Can you do it? Ten years, enough time to make it. 
Probably some of them, some of you are here already, has made a decision to become a Crown Ambassador already in 10 years' time. Imagine 10 years, 2028, the celebration in the bird nestle of Cradle, 50th anniversary. You become our speaker. We will do an even greater stage for you to perform. I like very much a sentence by Dr. Napoleon. Any human being can imagine and believe And anything they can imagine, and they will, it will become true. Anything human being can imagine and believe will come true. Imagine 10 years later, you are all diamonds. Imagine you are recognized on the stage. Imagine that. I believe that you can imagine that. And next, you are going to believe it, except apart from imagination, you have to believe it, that you can do it. Everybody, confidence is very important. I'm very lucky and fortunate. I know that people need to be encouraged. Yeah, every day we face challenge, difficulties. We need to be encouraged. I tell you all, I'm very fortunate because I have a very, a mother who knows very well to encourage me. My mother is here. My mother is very good at encouragement. Many of my leaders, after her encouragement, has changed things. She encouraged me all the time since childhood. She has been, a, she has seen a movie about the World War, Second World War, about Churchill. After the movie, she was very moved. She's not that well educated. She just felt that this person is very great. She, when she came back home, she said to my father, our son, our Hokkien, look like Churchill, especially the eyebrows turning downside. Mom, how can I look like a foreigner? Everybody, this is a mother. This is a wish from a mom who wish her son to be successful. Okay, she doesn't even talk to my father for once, and she often talk it, not only to my father, to my grandmother, to my aunts, to all my relatives. Everyone come to our place, she, t she told them, my son Hogan looks like Churchill, and he must be successful in when he grow up. A child doesn't really understand. After listen to that day after day, Hokkien will become someone successful when he grow up. And after a while, I started to believe my mother succeeded in brainwashing me. I will become someone. Thank you, mom.
Yeah, I, we really need encouragement. I know in 1979, in Malaysia, the first convention, our keynote speaker was Mr. Rich Devos. My first meeting, first time I saw him, I was just becoming 21 percenter. He saw me. Yeah, all the participants are 21 percent above. He shake hands with all of us. I remember very clearly he hugged me and whispered at my ears. He said, you've done a great job. I'm proud of you. I think this sentence This sentence has influenced me for 40 years. Whenever I face challenge and difficulties, I remember that sentence. I'm proud of you. 40 years. I feel that I'm very much influenced by Mr. Rich Devos. I love his tapes, his speeches. Actually, I was imitating him. I listened to all his speeches, all of them. I don't know how many times, probably some hundred times. I can even remember them by heart. I feel so excited every time I listen to very exciting speeches and encouraging. I asked him once, Rich, your speeches are wonderful. You have made so many speeches. Every one of them are so wonderful. How could you make it? And Mr. Rich Devos told me and smiled. So, I have only one speech, and the note, the message of my speech is, you can make it, you can do it. So I learned, Mr. Rich Devos, every time I say, you can do it, every time I give speech. Every, everyone here. Every friend, you got to believe you can do it. It's really important. You got to believe you can do it. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Back here, back there, do you believe it? You can do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. In 1977, I met Amway, my friend, my colleague, my university colleague, Chen Quanting. He joined Amway, and he told me with excitement that this was a great opportunity. But I didn't feel anything after I listened. I refused him, and I sent. I told him. You won't make it. It's impossible. And I was right. After six months, Chen Quanting quitted Amway business. One year after, I joined. I felt it was great. Of course, naturally, I remembered my good friend. So I went to see Chen Quanting. I told him, Chen Quanting, this is a great international business. We can do it. Even before I finished, he looked at me. 
Last year, I joined. I sponsored, I wanted to sponsor you, and you refused me. You gave me a reason. Why should I join today when you join? I looked at him because I believe in you. Everybody, it's simple. If your friend doesn't trust, doesn't believe in you, why should he sponsor you? Because your friend, because of your friend's confidence in you, that you should thank them. Chen Quentin joined. Actually, You have to be confident in yourself. Believe that you can make it. But Chen Quentin at that time, he didn't like going to work. He failed in many different businesses. He joined Amway. He didn't succeed. And just being a small vendor in the street, he didn't succeed. He was very down at that time, depressed, and nobody trusted in Ching Quentin. But I tell you, nobody, it doesn't matter, nobody trusts him. But the important thing is, he always believed in himself. Ching Quentin always said, only two people in the world trust in Chen Quentin. One is Fu Ho King, one is myself, Chen Quentin. My friends, Chen Quentin's business is huge today. Half of the FCs are Chen Quentin's team today. Oh no, it's not half, it's two thirds. A leader can build more than 30 FCs. It's really a great thing. But really at that time, nobody really believed in him. But fortunately, he believed in himself. In 1978, I joined Amway. I was not very successful at the beginning. Many thanks to my upline, Dr. Gerald. They inspired me. And let me see the value of Amway business. I felt it important to see the value and the vision, future of Amway. I believed in Amway. My friends, confidence is really important. If you choose Amway, if you want to be successful in this business, you're going to believe. Nobody can persuade you. Nobody can convince you. Don't let anyone, your sponsor Amway, to persuade you, to convince you. you got to convince yourself. Dr. Gerald just helped me, inspired me. To see the whole picture of Amway, the value, the future of Amway. And I believed it. So I gave all in. I'm I was very fast. In 27 months, I became a diamond. <coughs> My friend, at that time, if you want to know why I was so fast, it was because when I start to believe, I was very diligent. I work on Amway every day. I was building my business with enthusiasm, with confidence. And even 10 hours or 12 hours a day, or even sometimes working until midnight, or three o'clock in the morning, once I knocked at the door, I forgot the time, and my father was looking at me. Oh, what are we doing? It was so late. And I said, 
I was building my armor business, and he didn't trust me. He said, who worked with you? Who could work with you at this time? And the, and the following day, I got up early. I was not tired. Sometimes, many times, I felt, when you found your confidence, when you really put all in, when you have the momentum, just keep on going, keep going. And 27 months to become a diamond is really fast. I tell you all, many, many people Many people, many leaders, I see many leaders during these years that they wonder that I did Amway business very relaxed, in a very relaxed way. Yeah, I think that's true. I felt great. I was very relaxed. I enjoyed it. People ask me, it's like you never had any difficulties or challenges. It seems very easy for you. And surely the general manager of Taiwan also asked me, it's like you don't, you don't need any effort to make it. Sounds like I didn't need any, I didn't have any difficulties or challenges and just become a crown ambassador like that. But actually, I'm like you, like all of you, I had, I've had a lot of challenges. But I seldom talked about it. Everyone, in, when we build our armway business, we face difficulties. I'm not only going to encourage you and tell you you can make it. I want you all to know success is not easy. I think everything worth pursuing is not easy to be gained. Do you agree? I really want to go deeper, further. I want to be close to you. But there's an echo, so I have to come back. It doesn't matter. You can feel me. That matters. I want to share with all of you tonight the 40 years, my experience, my difficulties especially. Okay? Yes. Really a lot. I start to have, when I started, I had a lot of obstacles. I couldn't open my mouth. But when I start to believe it, the power of confidence is terrible. I couldn't, th those people I couldn't sponsor. Once I start to believe, I start to sponsor them, succeeded in sponsoring them. That's why I was very fast. I really don't remember the obstacles and difficulties on in those two years. You know, in 1981, when I went to Taiwan for Amway business, for the first time, I stepped on to, step on Taiwan with Chen Quanting and other friend partners. We don't have, we never had any friends or relatives there. Nobody, nobody. People ask me, why Taiwan? I didn't choose Amway, actually. I didn't choose Taiwan. Amway chose Taiwan. After Malaysia, Amway chose to develop Taiwan. So I followed, simply follow, just for a dream. A dream of a young guy, less than 30 years old, a big dream. I have 
a big dream for international business. We want to grow Amway big. That's a simple idea. I was in Malaysia, and there's one sentence in Malaysia. Standing in Malaysia. Uh, think about great China and put your eyes on globe, on the whole globe. That's my dream. I want to bring Amway everywhere. And Taiwan was my first market, overseas market. A lot of difficulties, really. The first one, a lot of people were cheated, were bankrupt because of the pyramid scheme. So in Taiwan, a lot of people dislike pyramid scheme, hate it. At that time, the whole society didn't know much. They link Amway with, associate Amway with pyramid scheme, with illegal operation. Whenever I talk about Amway, people think it's illegal. It's very difficult to sponsor people. Every day, the broadcast, the newspaper, the TV, every day talking about illegal pyramid scheme. At that time, a Japanese pyramid scheme were told was a Japanese one. So the media called them Japanese pyramid. So Amway was called American pyramid. I was also on the newspaper because I came from Malaysia. A cradle was called Malaysian pyramid. Under the circumstances, it is really difficult. But we never give up because we believe in Amway. So confidence is important. We go on, we persist. The pyramid scheme is not the biggest challenge. At that time, we had only eight products. Always lack of stock for many months. Or sometimes seven out of eight were out of stock. Only one were remaining, LOC. A lot of complaint about that. Oh, Amway couldn't do it. It's impossible. They gave up. But we always believe we sell only LOC. We can still achieve 21% with only LOC. My friends, today your difficulties are difficult, are different than ours. And today you have too many products to sell. That's your problem today. We trust, we believe in Amway. We believe Amway will solve the problems. Unexpectedly, Amway solved the problem the following month. When the shipment coming arrived, it's too long. So Amway shipped those products by air. Very heavy products with air cargo. We, are, we were so confident. We continue. We go on. It's still not our biggest challenge. The biggest one. I was a foreigner. At that time, when you build our business, apart from sales and sponsoring, we need to take record. Not everybody can order products from Amway. We have to build our stock. We have to invest. We invest a lot of money. 
We have to take flight. We have to stay in a hotel. We have to keep a center. I have to employ an assistant, a warehouse keeper. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The investment is huge, but it doesn't matter. I have confidence. But the problem is I'm a foreigner. All my bonus will be taxed. And as a foreigner, the tax is very high. It's fine, it's normal that I tax. I pay my tax. But the problem is all my downlines, all the products from me, I have to take notes and take record what they ordered, all the products, and calculate 3%, 6%, 9%, and pay them next month. And I need even have to pay the tax for them. And their tax, I have to pay also an investment on everything else. And I talked to Amway. Please help me to solve the problem. My cost is very high. But Amway has no solution because this is government policy. So I went to see the finance director at Amway. And he told me, there's no one solution. All your downlines, they keep their record. They keep their booking. And you ask uh, them to pay you back the tax. But I said, okay, it's fine. I will pay the tax for them. That's a leader. What should do? What a leader should do? This challenge. If you don't have confidence in Amway, I tell you, you will give up. In front of such a challenge, I didn't give up. Because I believe that this will be solved. Amway will solve this. And, and the two founders, Rich Devos and Jay Venendo, came and other senior executive came to Thailand, Taiwan. And I made an appointment with them and told them every problems that I have. It's not efficient. So, so many problems while a building business in, our, in Taiwan. And they said, we will solve the problem for you. We tell you, you can give up Taiwan and go back to Malaysia. Oh, the senior executive told me, we never had this before, but for your good, I don't want you to, we don't want you to lose money. So you go back and we will solve the problem for you and then you return to Taiwan. Did I follow him? Follow his advice? No, I didn't because I think difficulties and obstacles will only make us even stronger. I didn't give up. I give even more effort. The problem was solved. The solution was Amway sold, sell products to every ABO. So Amway will pay for pay the, com the bonus to every each ABOs, just like today. So leaders will not have to pay for your downlines. Problems will make us even stronger. So in Taiwan, lack of stock, a pyramid scheme, or tax problems, they didn't bring me down. They just make me even stronger. So I become a diamond in s within 16 months. After I became a diamond, very soon I became a double diamond. It's my business. 
I do my business when I want to. I want to rest. I take a rest, I take a break when I want to rest. So when I become successful, I stopped, I take a pause. In 1987, Amway came to Thailand. And I came. 1987, I arrived in Bangkok, Thailand. Thailand here to build my second business again with a lot of my downline. I came with a lot of my downlines. Stephen Lim, many, many, many of them. Many Malaysian leaders came to Thailand to build the Amoy business. Any difficulties, obstacles, problems? It was very difficult. Same thing. People don't know Amway. Media are not friendly. We continued because we still believe. The Ma our Malaysian friends, partners, it's very costly for them to build international business. When they arrived in Bangkok, 10, 20 ABOs rent an apartment together, share. A dozen of people sleep everywhere on the ground. No bed. So when they got up in the morning, they make the room as a meeting hall. They clear up everything. And in the day, they went out, they developed the business. But they didn't know how to speak Thai. How to communicate with local people. You can do it. If you really want to build it, if you really want to succeed, you will find ways. You cannot speak the language? Learn. So every one of us learn a few Thai sentences. How much? How much? Pen. Too expensive. My out. No. Thank you. We learned quite a few during our meetings. During the meeting. Chinese don't understand. It means, are you excited? Are you excited? And we were excited. We know only a few words. We communicate with our body languages. They didn't really understand our Thai. Then we write. Opportunity. We write down opportunities to make money. We also manage to invite people and we manage to build the business. Problems can be solved. Problems can only make you strong. Talking about Thailand, the whole family, my family, was my second home. Bangkok was my second home. Because I was married in Taiwan, so Taiwan is my first home too. Malaysia is, of course, my ho first home. Thailand becomes my second home. We loved Bangkok. When I came to Thailand, I couldn't speak the language. I need to spend more time here. I discussed with my wife, Jenny. Can we move to Thailand? My wife supported, very supportive. She said, okay. But my elder daughter, Jasmine, it was, she was only one year old. So we moved to Thailand and rent an apartment, uh, apartment. And my first daughter learned to walk in Thailand. But 
Probably because we were not used to the food, of the local food. After two or three months, they moved back to Thai, Taiwan. So I was alone. I was left alone in Thailand to build a business. So every day, I work on my own Amway business. And home is back in Taiwan, so I have to go back home. It's the first time I remember very well, after a long time outside, away from home, when I came returned to Taiwan, Jenny came to pick me up at the airport with my first daughter. I remember clearly, when I came out of the custom, I saw very far Jenny with my first daughter. I waved at them. Jenny kneeled down and talked to my first daughter. That's father. I approached them. And they approached me. And halfway, she looked at me. She was not sure. And she turned back, looking at Jenny, her mother. And uh, Jenny said, that's that's that. Go ahead, go ahead. And she continued to run into my arms. I sit down, I kneel down. My daughter didn't recognize me. I took her in my arms, closely, firmly. This is a challenge you have to face, family and your career. Sometimes it's difficult to balance. Many of you have the same challenge. Family is important. Business is important. Remember, family is always more important than business. Family is our base of Amway business. You have to solve the problem. I'm, I feel very lucky. I want to thank my wife, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. You raised our daughter, two daughters, so well. Thank you. I knew at that time, of course, Amwe is very important to our fam to my family. I will not give up. And I committed to my leaders in Thailand, I will not give up. But how to solve the problem? You will eventually find a solution. My solution was to fly more frequently. Come for one week, go back for one week. And I tell you, difficulties will grow you and make you stronger. They, they force me to think, to manage my time smartly. I use my time efficiently to meet all my all, to do all my meetings in in Thailand and I become very efficient. And this doesn't bring me down. This just probably make me slow slow down. I became a diamond in Thailand in four years. And this is the first diamond that doesn't speak Thai. And I didn't speak the language, but I am FC in Thailand. That's because I didn't give up, because I managed to solve all my problems. My friends, I don't know what kind of difficulties that you have. Remember, don't escape from problems, any problems, any obstacles. 
all those problems are arranged to test you. When you escape from problems, you can never solve them. The only way to solve the problem is to face them and find ways to solve them. Do you know everyone? When I came back from Taiwan, I know that my friends, my partners are in Thailand. How do I follow up my partners in, Thai, in Thailand? I call them. I never knew how to call them. I never knew how to make phone calls efficiently. And at that time, phone call became very efficient to communicate. So I have to, and at that time, international calls were very costly. So I have to manage and I have to plan beforehand. So that's how I become more and more efficient in my communication. And then I have more and more time to spend with my child. So in Taiwan, I'm very relaxed because I'm a full-time dad in Taiwan. I spend time with my children. When they went to school, I call, I make phone calls. My daughter and their classmates were very curious. They try to call her at home. And every time when they call, it was me who picked up the phone. So the classmates were very curious. Is that your father was employless, unemployed? More interestingly, you know, when she was at school, among the kids, and sometimes they talk to each other, talk about their, introduce their fathers. And when he, she was asked, she didn't know about Amway yet. And she said, my father's job is to make phone calls. Making phone calls. Really, tools. We don't. We probably don't use telephones anymore. We use mobile phones, smartphones, WeChat, Facebook. Do you know how to use them? I found that our leaders have too much time, and they waste a lot of time in sending meaningless messages. When you are like me, that you don't have much time to waste and you know well better how to use these communicating tools to develop your market. I tell you that I'm very lucky. Yeah, Mr. Doug and Divos and his son are here. And in this morning, we had breakfast together. We were talking, chatting. And Mr. Doug Divos brought his son. And this is like many years ago when Rich Divos, Mr. Rich Divos brought Doug Divos with him. This is a way to hand over to younger generations and the Amway business, Amway family, founders family. And you were very passionate about the Amway business, so we are very confident that the future Amway will be even better. I tell him, I said, Amway is just about to start. The future, imagine, if our sales volume is 10 times of that of today, are you excited? Ten times, tenfold. 2028, every one of you can realize your dream, your target, your goal to become a diamond. 
I know there are a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges are waiting ahead of you. But remember, Remember that you are building your own business, but you are not alone. You have your sponsors, you have your leaders, you have your diamond, you have FC, you have centers. They will be with you to help you to build your armway business. I like the sentence. Rather than spend 100% effort by myself, I would like to find 100 people and spend 1% of effort with everyone. Let's work together with your diamond, with your sponsor, with your FC. Every one of them will support you and help you to succeed in Amway business. Lastly, lastly, but but not least, <laughs> my friends, my partners, I was very often asked recently, Mr. Fu, after 40 years with Amway, what is your biggest gain? Do you still have dream? Two questions. I've been with Amway for 40 years. Now I'm telling you, my biggest gain, I, what, my biggest gain is my 40 years experience with Amway. 40 years of experience, and you ask me what is my dream. What's my dream? My dream is to share my 40 year Amway experience, to share them with you to share my asset, my experience with my family members here to help you to succeed. I believe in you. You can do it. All the best. See you at the top. 2028.